What's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Washington State's cerebral rot spewing purulence on parasitic records. Two tracks of utter, disgusting, filthy, heavy death metal. The cosmetics here are great. The tunes are absolutely fucking filthy. And Ian Schwab is the man. Like, the fucking lyrics on here. I just want to read you this one line because it's just so fucking disgusting sounding. Vile yolk. Contagious disease. Spoilant ejacula. Mutated feces. Yeah, some total fucking filth on Parasitic Records. 7 Inch is coming soon, if you missed out on the tape release. Spewing purulence. Killer fucking shit. I like this more than Cessation of Life and the full length record. And it's just two songs. Seriously, it's fucking great. This is an awesome example of... An EP, a demo, a promo, whatever you want to call this. A soon-to-be 7-inch. This is exactly what you want. You want the band to not only kind of one-up themselves on a songwriting standpoint, but having their new material still sound like the old material, but at the same time, being refreshing and fucking sick and cerebral rot really bring the fucking riffs the heaviness and just an overall like filthy filthy atmosphere to this release right here hails to parasitic records fuck yeah and today this was part of that three piece demo pack on Steiglin Black Hand this is Virginia's sadisticum barbaric ceremony. Just look at that artwork real quick. They definitely cut Christ's head off and replaced it with a fucking pig. Oh my god. I think it says liar above them. Oh no, it just says the regular old I-N-R-I. But, so just to come, bring forth five tracks and around, give or take, 14 fucking minutes of lo-fi, raw, bestial, black death, war metal. And, oh shit, is it fucking pissed off, savage, and nasty sounding. Like, I love how raw this is. It was one of those things, like, the first time I listened to it, I thought one of my speakers blew out. And then I realized, like, oh, fuck, that's on purpose. Like, and it just made it so much just... I don't know, I'm a fucking sucker for that shit. Like, it just sounded so ancient. But this was originally released, I think by the band themselves in 2018 but here it is with the Bob Quirk production he does like Antichrist Siege Machine he's done Left Cross he's fucking sick like seriously his work is awesome and so are these fucking like stage names here because the J cards, very, very simple, no promo photo, but I love the cover art so much, and I love the fucking logo. It's just super, like, sick. I don't know, there's something about it I just really fucking like. Is it a sword? Is it an upside down cross? Hey, it's both technically, because before I wrote for Satan, I... You can't really see it, but that upside-down cross, I used to tell people it was a sword. 
<laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, just like, sometimes I would be like, oh yeah, that's like, you know, the theft sword from Final Fantasy VI. And they would just look at me like, oh, okay. <laughs> the theft sword from Final Fantasy VI? Like, what the fuck? I would have personally picked a sword from Castlevania Symphony of the Night if I was to legit give myself a sword tattoo. Or I would probably copy Conan the Barbarian's sword that he finds in the cave and whatnot. I think that would be badass. But what is badass is sadisticum and barbaric ceremony. It's just Everything I love about, like, bestial, fucking savage, black death metal. It's just gnarly, and I love this shit. Especially the song titles. And, like, you have a track such as... Phlegothin Baptism and Sacrificial Immolation. The Blasphemy Reigns Supreme on Barbaric Ceremony by Sadisticum. And it's fucking sick. Like, seriously. This is some evil, evil fucking war metal. And I love it. Seriously. This is Armageddon! As a once very mighty Satyricon once said, I really need a copy of Nemesis Davidia on vinyl. Like, I just need to hear Mother North again. Just so maybe it won't be so hot outside. And that record, I don't care what anybody says, it's pretty much, like, perfect when it comes to that style of black metal. Like, I'll never forget this one time driving through the snow-filled mountains of western Pennsylvania, like, above Pittsburgh, like, up by Erie, and being... In, like, the middle of this forest with, like, not a whiteout style of blizzard, but it was snowing enough that it was kind of sketchy driving. But this one part of Mother North kicked in. And if you know what part I'm talking about, it's when it all gets epic and... Sometimes in the dead of night. Like, when Nocturnal Cult 2 is doing, like... It's kind of spoken, but not really. It, it's fucking just really atmospheric. And it was just one of those moments where black metal makes the like hair on your arm stand up. It's what makes black metal special. Like that one time, again, during a storm, listening to Dissection, the Somberlin. When that one part kicked in with that... Da -na -na -na, I paid. I forget the lyrics to that part, but like. The devil is silent. I just remember that part. But like, there was like. I was crossing this bridge and there was thunder and then just lightning all over the back of the sky. It was so fucking cool and it was just one of those moments where like. The music felt like it was influencing the atmosphere outside of the car. It's fucking magical, those types of moments. And they're hard to come by, but with the right circumstances, you can have a band that, you know... Now, don't get me wrong, I love that Satyricon record, and I love... The first two dissection records, along with the EP. Not the newer post-jail shit. I never liked that really at all, honestly. But, like, I remember legit being bummed out on that, uh, first post-jail dissection EP. I was like, what the fuck is this? It was called, like, Malakali or something? And it was just like... I don't know what I'm listening to, like, but whatever, this isn't the dissection I love. But, one of my favorite things about Sadisticum 
and barbaric ceremony happens to be the kind of tongue-in-cheek, but not really just evil, evil band member names. And we have Goliath Goat Flesh Commando on lead vocals. The Lord of Black Blood and Devastation on drums and vocals. Perverse Defiler of the Second Circle on first guitar. Sado Messiah Inseminator on second guitar. And The Blasphemer of the Holy Word on bass. Recorded, mixed, and mastered by the mighty Bob Quirk in Richmond, Virginia, and artwork by Goliath, who fucking kills it here. I'm not real sure who Goliath is, but he fucking rules. If I had money, I would love to get him to do some artwork, but I'm broke as a fucking joke. But what I can tell you is this is five tracks and under 14 minutes of total primitive fucking warfare. Not the band, but seriously, that is exactly what this is. Lo-fi, raw, bestial, black death metal. And you get Phlegothan Baptism, Iron Gates of Hades, The Seven Terrences of Purgatory, Sacrificial Immolation, and Conquering Holy Ground. Released by Steiglin Black Hand, SBH Killing It in 2020. Killer, killer release right here. Barbaric Ceremony by Virginia's Sadisticum. I love the way they spell their name as well. S-A-D-I-S-T-I-K-U-M. Sadisticum. Barbaric Ceremony. Get into it. And we were blasting the new Cerebral Rot. Spewing purulence, fucking disgusting, crushing death metal from the Pacific Northwest. The tape cosmetics here are absolutely fucking vile and awesome. Seven Inch is dropping soon, so if you miss the cassette, don't freak out. The Seven Inch is coming, so fucking hails. Parasitic Records, and Steigl and Black Hand, Jamie, fucking everybody that helped get these tapes in my hands today. Fuck yeah. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey.